In this video, we're going to be doing an isometric drawing of this stepped block. This is the same stepped block we've seen before. This is the shape, the face, we're going to have the front. That's going to be the left side and the top. An isometric will show all of them at the same time. And the way it's going to look is something like that. That sketch is in fact done as an isometric, but it is done as a sketch. And when we look at it here as an isometric, what we're doing is looking in this direction, we're seeing the front face. When we're looking from the side here, we're seeing the side views. And when we're looking down, we're seeing the top. The dimensions are going to be as shown here, overall 90 by 40 by 35. This top is 50 across here and 40 below. These two faces are 20 millimeters high each, so this is in the center of the height. We're going to start by drawing our angled lines. So an isometric is done at 30 degrees. So we put in a construction line like that and another construction line like this. It doesn't really matter where it is, just somewhere in the center near the bottom those two need to cross. And I'm also going to put in a third line which is vertical. Now in orthogonal drawings we happily run our construction lines the full width from left to right and the full height from top to bottom. In isometrics, that may not be the case. These two, which I know are at the bottom of my drawing, I don't mind how long they are. But if I bring this line all the way up, it may interfere with a different part of my drawing later. And I know that my height here is only about 20 millimeters. So I'm only going to draw a short construction line at that point. I'm now going to measure my length, which was 90 millimeters. So putting my set square there, using it as the ruler, I make my mark. It is 90 millimeters there and I draw a vertical line through it. Now, I'm going to draw this line all the way down to show you something, and that's the importance of measuring along this angled line, 90 millimeters this way. If I measured horizontally, you see that this would be a fraction under 80. So this is shorter than the 90. If I measured 90 up here, my length would be not longer than 90 here. My shape would be the wrong size. So very important that you measure your dimensions along the line that you're going to be drawing along. So we have the dimension of 90 millimeters there. The height, if you remember, was 40. Make our mark. And our height at the front, if you remember, was 20. Make a mark. So with both of those marks, I can now take my set square and parallel to the bottom line that goes off at a 30 degree angle to the right. I can draw a construction line. And up at the top here, I can draw a construction line. It has to cross through these points. It doesn't have to go any further. Then if you remember correctly, this surface was 50 millimeters long and this was 40. It doesn't really matter which one I measure. I'm going to put my set square there, measure 40 millimeters. And then I'm going to use my set square to draw a vertical line. And that is my front shape. So this shape here is sitting there. And obviously it's been rotated so that these lines are vertical, not right angled. So at this point, I can actually come along with my set square again and I can draw my lines in dark. So these are my vertical lines. These are my angled lines at 30 degrees off to the right. And that is my front surface drawn in, in dark. So to do my top and my left surfaces, in all instances, I need to do 30 degree angles, 30 degree lines out to the left and they all go through these intersection points. So I do one through there, one through there, one through there, and another one through there. My dimension, you may remember, was 35 millimeters, so measure off with my set square to there, that's that point, and this line here is at right angles. I can transfer this dimension across using my set square. I simply go to my intersection and draw a construction line across there. I then take a right angled line through this intersection point there and I take a 30 degree line through this intersection point here. And that completes my shape. I simply have to come back now with my set square. While it's set this way, I'm going to do my vertical lines, which are these ones. 
I need to do my angled lines at going off to the right while my set square is still in that orientation. And then I rotate my set square around and I can do all of these lines which are 30 degree lines off to the left. So that's the first part of the side, the lower level of the top, the upper portion of the side and the top level of the top view. And there you have it. And that's an isometric drawn on a, T -square, on a drawing board using T-square and Z-square and using construction lines. And you can see all of these construction lines with the intersections that, that remain. That is the objective. It is a nice, neat isometric drawing. It looks very much like what I showed you at the beginning, but it is now accurate both in measurement and in angle. And that is the way that an isometric drawing is done. Thank you.